this was essentially all the planets aligning. We had the space, we had the resources, and we had the talent. It's not common when you go and recruit new PIs to actually identify four truly extraordinary people in the same cohort of applicants. You have to be okay. Good luck. sufficiently bold and sufficiently audacious to say, we're not going to pick one, we're going to pick all four of them. That's how certain we were from the get-go. I think anybody in science, we want something challenging, we want something new that nobody else knows. I think that kind of uh, spirit is there in all scientists. What SIVA is looking at, actually an age-old problem then why C is unique? We work on plants and soil bacteria. The plant produces some peptides to take over the life cycle of bacteria. About 750 peptides have been identified. We are trying to find the function of it. No one has studied the function of these peptides before. Influence the metabolism of the host. If we really figure out the mechanism of symbiosis and nitrogen fixation, it can have a transformative effect on agriculture. Suddenly, she has access to this unknown universe of biological molecule. We do not know what potential they hold. This is a big transition for me, not simply from a career perspective, but also from a personal perspective. The training that we receive as a scientist is for doing science. Now we need to be leaders. We study how brain develops as an organ the overall question that we are after. How does the information contained in the genome is converted into the development of the most complex organ that we know of? It's an age-old question, how do you build a brain? Neset is actually asking this very fundamental question using a model organism that is actually very well known. But what he's asking at the depth of this investigation, what separates him from the rest? If you can innovate by bringing perhaps different fields of science together, bring a different perspective to the game, I hope we can bring some new way of looking at very similar questions a lot of very smart people have been asking for many decades. I love doing research and to make discoveries. We spend years and years in training, so it's really exciting uh, as a PI uh, to see this vision come to fruition. So you can see here, this has less depth yeah. than this one. Ours is the first group that is exclusively focused on understanding bacterial biology at Stowers. And in particular, we study how bacteria undergo regulated cell death. This is a new behavior that we've discovered in bacteria. The fundamental underpinnings of it are completely unknown. We thought that these sort of processes does not exist in the bacterial world. Why this is such a big discovery? Now what Omeo discovered, there is actually bacteria harness this mechanism. They can deploy in a very specific time and a specific place to kill a bacteria. And so by understanding how cholera cell death functions in the lab here, if we can convert that someday down the line into therapeutics, it would be really fulfilling as a scientist if the discoveries that I make in the lab today, if they also help improve human lives. I think it's been like really exciting and really smooth. Um, knock on wood. <laughs> this is my second experiment in the new lab. I really want to answer like really big biological questions, things that are really exciting. What happens to broken ribosomes? How are cells dealing with those? How does the composition of the ribosome change during development? And what does it mean for an organism? Ribosome is essentially hard of biological principles. You know, every living thing needs proteins. How do you detect a faulty ribosome and how do you remove them? It is a, such a fundamental problem and we know so little. Whatever she discover is going to be new knowledge. I've been so many multi-channels. I really want to cultivate a healthy lab culture. I want to create a team that works together, that's excited to do science, to have this like buzz in the lab of everyone to be pushing the boundaries of science. I'm anticipating that these new minds will not just generate foundational work, but hopefully help us uncover entirely new principles in biology. And I mean that a thousand percent.